Hi, and welcome to the Breakthrough Emotional Eating Podcast. My name is Kristen Jones, and thank you so much for joining me this week. So one of the things that we've been talking about in, uh, in, in the membership group throughout this week, we've been doing a challenge um, on how to, how to honor your meal plan, not only honoring your meal plan, but then honoring yourself. And so we've been talking about making changes and how, you, how do you make a change that actually is going to stick and that's actually going to be something that is sustainable, not only for you, but that actually then becomes a habit for you. And so oftentimes we want to make these big, huge sweeping changes. And sometimes it's just the little things that you do and the way you go about doing them that are that that is the key. And it, and it oftentimes is different for every single person. So I am super excited to have uh, Sean. Sean, do you go by Ellis or Johnson? Well, <laughs> both. Oh, My- okay. Miss Ellis and my married name is Johnson, but I never legally changed it after almost 20 years. So. <laughs> Either one. Either one. So Sean is a uh, is a member of the uh, of the Breakthrough membership, and um, and I'm going to actually just let her kind of um, explain things. So Sean, thank you so much for being here and for joining us. Um, and I so appreciate you coming and sharing your story. So if you would kind of go back and it's been about nine months, we were just chatting before we, we came on, it's been about nine months. Um, so initially, how did you find uh, the Breakthrough Emotional Eating group, the free group, and then make the decision to join um, the membership? Um, I was looking, I was just, I don't know what it was. I saw something on Facebook um, and someone talked about a book. And it wasn't your book mm-hmm. and I, this book and I'm like, there's good information in here, but I feel like I can't just read a book and then I need help. Like I'm, I'm very anal and I like things laid out. Mm-hmm. So I thought, let me just look through here, look through Facebook and look for, so I was just searching mm-hmm. and then one in something that I read mentioned you in mm-hmm. the group. So I thought, okay, let me check on that. And so just you had that free thing that you do um mm-hmm. it was a chat I think it was probably a challenge yeah yeah like a three-day thing or mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. so I did that and oh yeah and a friend of mine had been doing this diet mm-hmm. uh, that's what got me to looking she had been doing this diet bright line eating or something and when I looked at that I said no I don't <laughs> I can't do another diet like I don't want someone to tell me what to do mm-hmm. but she, she did do is she planned out her food for the day mm-hmm. and told me that I thought that's a good idea you know I, I like that idea so then I find you and you mentioned that uh, about food plan right and so I thought, okay let me look into this and then I loved how you had so much information and in modules and it wasn't just like reading a book you like take you step by step through it right Right. So I feel like I needed that support mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you so you joined you joined the membership and you were a part of the membership before when we were on Facebook and we had a, fa- we had a, fa- you know, a Facebook group and then we had a private, uh, a separate website where all the, where all the information was, where all of the, the modules and all that stuff was. And, mm-hmm. but you, I don't know if I ever saw you, I think and you were a member of the Facebook group, but I, you, you never posted, you were not active, necessarily mm-hmm. active in the group, but you were you were just doing things your own way. So can you explain how you kind of worked your way? What was the Sean way of doing the the membership? Well, so I got the day, I ordered the daily planner, Mm -hmm. you know, I wanted that. I didn't want to just do it on a piece of paper. (laughs) So I got the daily planner and then I started going through the modules that, you know, you had. Mm -hmm. And so it made sense and I started working it and it was about a week before I had my uh, session with you. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so I was doing okay, but I wasn't able to not snack and I was still kind of like binging a little. Mm-hmm. So then I had the session with you and then with that session, it was just like, boom, a light bulb. It was just like what everything you said mm-hmm. just made sense. And, you know, and from that, literally from the next day on, mm-hmm. I didn't snack. I didn't binge. I just 
you know, everything you said just made sense to me. And mm -hmm. you said, the food's not going anywhere. Cause I said, oh, if I have dessert, oh my gosh, I get so nervous that I eat it all because right. it's forbidden, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, after you said that to me, I, I remember I made these cookies and I had a cookie and I thought, oh, I want to eat all these cookies. I thought, wait a minute. Kristen said the food's not going anywhere. And so if I like it this much, I'm going to have it tomorrow night with my dinner. Right. So dinner is always when I have my dessert. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, so I, I thought I'm going to have one of these cookies every night until I'm tired of these cookies. And that's what I did. Right. Right. You know? So whenever I would feel that nervous feeling, I thought I can have it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to do something with right. my mind and, and I literally like, when we would have a, a bag of cookies or, you know, dessert, it would be gone within days. And I literally, I hide them from my husband. So he doesn't eat them all. Cause he, <laughs> um, so I hide them and I'll dole out, you know, here's two for you. And here <laughs> and things last like chips and tortilla chips and bread, you know, it's like stuff lasts. I mean, I feel like I'm saving money because I'm <laughs> on this stuff. Right. So, so you, so you worked through, and so you did, and you did the thought, you know, and I, cause I know most of what, and anytime, and I'll just tell all of you out there, anytime I, I ever meet with anybody, we, we don't talk about food. We always talk about, we're always, we talk about the, the, the mental aspect of it and the things that, the things that we get kind of hung up on and it, and it's always mental um, that we, and the, and the whole idea of behavior change and, and making these changes is we have to change our minds first before we change anything that we actually do or how our, have our bodies change. So in order for weight loss to happen, you have to work on your mind first. You have to work on your thoughts. You have to work on your beliefs. And I, I love that. I love that example, Sean, because I, that's the thing that made the biggest difference for me was being able to tell myself, like, you don't have to eat that now. Like you can have it tomorrow. It's not like it's, and I don't know, I'm going to ask everybody who's in the, in the Facebook or on my personal profile right now, if, if you have, if you are one of those people that you feel like, oh, I have to eat it now. Cause tomorrow I'm going to start over tomorrow is going to be a good day. Well, we don't have that here. We don't do the tomorrow. It's like, no, if you want to, if you can want to have some, you can have it tomorrow too. It's not like it's a one, one shot deal. You can have it any time. Um, and so you do have dessert every night. Yeah. yeah. I, that's a big thing with me. I like sweets and I like desserts. And whenever I'm on a diet, I can't have dessert. And mm -hmm. so I thought that's important to me. Like I want to have food that I like that tastes good. Mm -hmm. And I want dessert. And so normally I don't eat dessert at breakfast or lunch, but I'll have, I mean, I'll have waffles if I want for breakfast, you know, right. but um, I'll think, okay, so tonight my dessert will be this. It's like, I don't go a day. I literally do not go a day without dessert. Right, right. And, but, but, and that has, and I, I don't know how many, how long it has been. I know you, I think you told me last month that it, it had been a very long time. I think it had been months since you had, because you had had, you had binged on, you know, the sugar the, and binging was a problem before. And now that's, that's no longer an issue. Yeah. I mean, since that literally that first session with you, mm -hmm. I have not benched. Now mm -hmm. I've had like one time uh, I got really hungry and it was like before dinner and it mm -hmm. was maybe like, I don't know, three, three or four o'clock. And I was like, oh my God, I, I mean, and I remember you said, you know, don't be afraid of hunger because you're burning fat and mm -hmm. I, it's helped. But at this point, this day, I was just like, I, I've got to eat. And mm -hmm. so I went and I got stuff and I ate and I, and I thought, oh, am I going to binge? And then I thought, you know what? No, this is my dinner. I'm eating it at four o'clock, but this is it. This is my dinner. And I ate a little bit more because I almost got into that whole binge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought, no, this is okay. You know, even though it isn't what I had set in my plan right. and it's not the time I normally eat, I'm going to be okay with what I've eaten right now. And then I stopped. Yeah. But you were able to stop and able to mentally be like, okay, that doesn't mean that, that we're, we've gone too far now. And now, you know, it's just, no, this is how we just, how we bring things back in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you again, moved through, you know, moved through the, the, the lessons and have done, you know, and done, done what you've done. Um, and so as a, as a, and as a whole, 
you have, as of right now, because you started nine months ago, how much weight have you lost? It was, it's a good 45 pounds. I just had a colonoscopy on Monday. <laughs> Sunday, I, yeah, Sunday, you know, I had to do the whole prep and everything. Yeah. And I lost like four and a half pounds after this call. <laughs> but I knew it would come back. So it's right. a, not all of it has come back yet, but mm -hmm. I think, so maybe it's like 46 pounds. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And so, but you really are, you are eating, you have your three meals, you have no snacking and you are eating what you want. I mean, y'all, you heard her talk about bread and you know, all the things that she has in her house, bread, tortilla chips, chips, eating dessert every night. Um, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to just venture to guess that probably prior to this, you would, would you have said if somebody had asked you if sugar was an issue in your life, would you have thought that you had a problem with sugar? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, anything that was like, binge food sugar you know chips fry you know carbs were mm -hmm. like definite um mm -hmm. issue for me I mean I had an eating disorder I, right. I, I still do I mean mm -hmm. I don't know if that mm -hmm. ever goes away or not but I mean wow. yeah I didn't feel ever in my life I would be up and down I would get really thin but then I would gain weight like record fast like mm -hmm. people I can't even believe how fast this girl gained weight you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I would just binge on that right right but now having but now with that with the thought work and and knowing that like okay it's always here I don't have to I don't have to do that now that's really been you've been able to dial that in and that's been that's been something that's been consistent for you and yeah. and again you know what what makes me so happy what I just love is that you know that you're eating and so if you if you, if you don't mind sharing with everybody People have noticed that you've lost weight and they ask you what you're doing and what is their response when you tell them what you eat? Well, because the first thing I say is, you know, what did you do? And I say, I stopped dieting. Mm -hmm. Like I don't diet. And they, they act like, oh brother, that's not right. You know, <laughs> and then, you know, my friend was just like grilling me the other day. Well, what do you eat? And I said, here's typically what I have. And she's like, how can you lose weight on that? And I said, I don't know. I, but I don't overeat, right. you know, so I'll have like maybe one, maybe two cookies, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just try to stop and think, think, eat to satisfied, not to full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, my husband makes fun of me because I'll, I'll be slow yeah. <laughs> he's shoveling it in and he's done <laughs> like halfway, you know, and he'll imitate me. Oh, the fork down, <laughs> look around. Okay. <laughs> and so I You're take like, who's 45 pounds down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but I don't always take that much time because I'm at work, you know, or something, and I don't have a lot of time, but I just um try to focus on it and not overeat or go mm -hmm. back for seconds. You know, I take enough because I think I want to eat enough that I'm not gonna be starving right. for the next meal. Right. So I to eat such a little tiny bit. Right. Um, and the other thing I do, I noticed this yesterday, I did this because I am, a, I do choose healthy things, you know, like I don't like, um, you know, MSG and, and the kind of oils that are in things. So I will try to get the healthy versions of things. Mm -hmm. um, but the other day I wanted a salad and I made this big salad and I put hard boiled eggs in it and all this stuff. And I had something else with it. And I put this salad dressing that I got from my husband and I'm eating it. And I'm like, I hate this, this, I don't like the salad dressing and I don't like anything about this. So am I going to just keep eating it? And I thought, no, yeah. I, I'm very frugal, but I threw the salad away. I'm like, I hate this. And so I didn't have a lot of time, but I ate hummus and crackers and I'm like, this tastes good to me. Okay. Because I didn't want to be mad or feel like binging because I had this salad that tasted horrible. Absolutely. 100%. That is so, and that is, and that's, that's probably one of the hardest things for people to do. One is throw away food is mm -hmm. to waste food. People don't want to waste food. And so it, they, 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 you know, they will eat, they will continue to eat it. And it's one of the things, I mean, I'm all about following your meal plan, but I'm also about really paying attention and being really thoughtful when you make your meal plan of really deciding like, what do I really want? And so, you know, 
you know, obviously you're going to have times where you take a chance on a salad dressing and it's not the yeah. right one. You're like, okay, no, again, we won't do that again. Yeah. But you learn that like, I'm going to be really specific and really, and frankly, really picky about, I think you become much more selective and mm -hmm. what you want becomes your priority. And it's like, uh, it, because you said it exactly, you have to be eating what you really want to eat in those moments, because you know, you're going to get, you're going to be resentful. You're going to, you're, and that's where, that's where the binge is just lurking right around the corner, just waiting to, waiting to swoop in. And uh, it, it, yeah, it's it really being really conscious, really conscious about that. Um, if you were, so like to your friend, if you were, you know, talking to your friend, what would you, what, what would be the, if you, if she asked you, well, what's the most important thing that you've learned and that you've learned as you kind of have gone through this process, um, what would you say is the most important thing that you've learned in the last nine months? Well, I've learned um, that f food doesn't have to have power over me, mm -hmm. um, that I can eat what I want. It still blows my mind that I can eat what I want. Right, right. And I don't have to overeat on it and I can lose weight. Mm -hmm. And for me, planning out the one thing that I do pretty much every day, only thing I didn't do it when we were in Hawaii, mm -hmm. um, but I do that daily planner every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. I may not work a module for weeks, but I do the daily planner every day. I fill mm -hmm. that out. Mm -hmm. and, plan, and if I don't know what I'm going to have, I'll put to be determined because to, to satisfaction or something. Right. But for me, that just it's like you said, your brain's learning that you're going to do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. And it's not in control going crazy. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. today, um, I feel like having um, waffles and eggs, you know, so I'm going to have that. Yeah. 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 And it's, and it's learning is, and it's, and it's learning to be okay with that and to be, and to trust yourself also, because I'm sure you know, over, and as, as the nine months have, have gone past, you, you've learned to trust yourself and your brain has learned to trust you that like when Sean, mm -hmm. she's going to do it, that's what she does. And so it's, do you feel it's gotten easier as time has gone on to, to, to continue to do the things that you're doing? Yes, it definitely gets easier. And you've got mm -hmm. like a track record, you know, and you're like, mm -hmm. Hey, I can do this. And obviously I've lost weight. There's still certain things that make me nervous. Um, mm -hmm. When I bake, you know, if I bake a, a dessert, I was always used to be super nervous and mm -hmm. I would like, it wouldn't turn out. I don't know what it was. It wouldn't turn out or something. Mm -hmm. And I would be sitting there eating it. Like, I just got to eat this dessert because <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not. Can I give it to people or what? <laughs> it just made me so nervous that I would binge on it. Mm -hmm. And so I've made set, some good desserts. <laughs> it's made me a little nervous, but I'm like, okay, just have your portion. And so what I do is I portion it out and I'll freeze some of it, you sure. know, because I don't want that pull, but I'll have enough to have it for several days, you know, right. but so right. I think it's kind of good for me to do that in a way, because mm -hmm. those are things that made me really nervous in the past. And I can yeah. say, Hey, I made this fantastic dessert and I didn't binge on it. Right. Right. And again, it's that reminder of I've already done, I've already been successful. I've, I've already done that. So now, so now I know I can do it. I, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have to worry. I don't have to question about whether I can do it. I know I can do it. So yes. ah, no, that is, that is just, just absolutely fabulous. And so if, if there, if, if somebody is listening, they're listening to our conversation and they're watching, either listening to the podcast or watching this, um, what, what would you tell somebody who is, concerned about like the time commitment of being in the membership because the membership for you is you have the modules but like you have th that is not fit into your lifestyle it's just it's yeah. not your not your style you've yeah. just you've done it your own way so what would you say to to somebody who is concerned about like oh my gosh there's too much time commitment this is too much like there's just too many things it i mean like you said i i'm not one to have these things that I have to do. I have enough that I have to do. And so I did a few of the group mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the calls, but it just seems like a lot to me. And mm -hmm. it's like, 
I just feel like it's too much to get on these group calls, but I'll read the Facebook things and the posts and, mm -hmm. you know, I'll read it and I've gotten a lot of help from that. And I just, I mean, literally lately, all I do is a few moments in the morning mm -hmm. and then in the evening and some evenings I've gone to bed and I forgot it. And I do it in the morning, my evening, you know, Oh yeah. Your evening assessment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so literally I'd say most days I'm taking what, 10 minutes or something. It's yeah. Yeah. And yeah. In the beginning, I did work more modules, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. now I've slowed down, um, sure. but I'm still, that's still my goal to do that. Right. Because I get through all that and check all that off. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't spend a lot of time on it, honestly. Right. Right. And it's, but it's been, it, it's, it's been something that, that you have, again, you've created your own form, your own format of, of what works for you. And that has been, that's been really helpful. So that, I mean, it's, that's one of the things that I've always, and that's why your story just was so amazing. And so, and what intrigued me is I think sometimes people think like, oh, it's this huge, if I'm not, if I'm not in the group and I'm not super mm -hmm. active, then I can't be successful. And it's, that's not, that's not really it because the, the, the coursework is really meant to be something that's just laid out for you that you can do on your own. Mm -hmm. And, and that's how, and that's, and that's what's worked. And, and sometimes the social aspect is just not something that either people don't want or they don't need. And there's not, it's not a right or wrong or a judgment. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't work for some people. And right. so um, I just, I, I, I loved that. I, I loved hearing that. Um, and it's so, it's so funny y'all. Cause every so often, you know, Sean will pop into my, into my messenger and she'll be like, Hey, just wanted to update you on what's going on. <laughs> just like, I'm still here and I'm still working. And, and it's just, it's, it was, it was just, it's so, it's so amazing to see. And I really like that, that she's kind of found her own way of doing it and it works for her and, and that she's doing everything that has been laid out of, you know, of really, you know, do, listening to her body, doing, eating what she loves, understanding that, that she doesn't give the power to food and that she has the power and that she has the power to decide if she's going to eat it now, if she's going to eat it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Um, there's so many people who really feel, and I, and it sounds like you were there as well, that sugar, because sugar is really, a, a, a lot of times that's something that people really focus on as being their issue. And like, if, if, you know, if I could just get the sugar under control and usually the attempt is to completely banish it and to just mm -hmm. say, I'm not going to have any of it. And, and then we all know how that goes. Cause then you got the restrict, you got the restrict binge cycle. Um, how it, it was, it was, it was our call, but how long do you think it took for you to really realize that like you had, you had, you had control of sugar? Hmm. How long did it take? I don't know. I mean, it was probably, well, actually, I mean, I was still a little bit nervous, but I think once I did that thing with the one cookie, mm -hmm. you know, just thought, let me have one cookie. And I thought, huh, okay. That was like way easier than I thought. Right. You know, and so I started realizing man, can it really be this easy, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. uh, so there were things that made me nervous, but I would say, yeah, right off the bat, when, when that clicked in my brain, mm -hmm. it was like something just like a light bulb moment or a mm -hmm. ha -ha moment or something. <laughs> yeah. And then I had, and then I had the idea about like, cause my husband was out of town. And so I buy those, you know, like baked cookies that you break them apart and you just oh, yeah. bake them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's like a healthy organic one. And so I remember thinking, why am I going to bake all these at once? You know, so I just baked a couple. I thought, you know, and so I started doing that. And I'm like, man, I'm coming up with some good ideas. Here. <laughs> do this. Yeah, so it was pretty easy, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because whenever I look at it now, I'm like, I can have that. You know, there, right. I do really want it. Like when I see candy, there's things that I used to eat and binge on that I don't even like right so, and think do I like this you know I don't like a Snickers bar I really don't like it it's that good like if I'm going to have dessert I want something good you know exactly and never go for the packaged candy at no. all 
That is something I, that is something that I've realized as well as like, if I'm going to have candy, it's going to be C's, it's going to be Linda, yeah. it's going to be something really high quality, or it's going to be something that someone else bakes for me, like at a mm -hmm. restaurant or, you know, yeah. I, yeah, the package thing. No, I don't, if it's, if it's got plastic wrapped around it, it is not, it's not, a, it's not at my no, level. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, it's, and that is that change in your thoughts about the value of what you put in your body and that it doesn't have to be clean and all the, it's, it's yeah. just, just you, you, you do it in a small amount, you give yourself what you want, but it's then you're mentally on board with, I've really taken care of myself. I don't need to eat all that. I don't need to eat all of it. And I don't need to eat all those things that, that aren't really serving me and that, that aren't really, they aren't really good enough for me. Mm -hmm. that I, that I'm better than that. <laughs> I'm, I'm worth the good, the good desserts. <laughs> Yeah. Is but there something else you did say that was a huge thing because being an emotional eater, you mm -hmm. know, like I was an emotional eater. Sometimes it didn't even matter what I ate. Mm -hmm. Sure. So um is you've got to be willing to feel the feelings and yeah. to feel bad as mm -hmm. just feel it. And so yeah. I'll notice if I want to eat something and it's it's my feelings, and I'll just be like, I need to just feel these feelings and right. not eat. Yep. Yeah. So it's a big part of it too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now that is, I think, I think that is, that's kind of the, the thing that's, that's behind everything is that whole idea of, of we so often turn to food and we so often, especially turn to binging to distract us from those feelings that we don't want to feel and, and feeling the feelings is, I mean, we think it's a big deal. And initially it feels a, like a really big deal, but when you realize like, oh, it's not going to last that long. And it's, it, it, it passes. And, and then, and you I would imagine the first time when you, when you realize like, oh, I can just feel these feelings and not binge. That's like, that's a huge victory because then yeah. you do have control and you really have taken back your power. And, mm -hmm. and that's something that, that most, you know, most people, most emotional eaters don't, don't even know that that's even possible for us to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely yeah and when it passes then you feel so good like the next day yeah of course yeah. if you get into it then mm -hmm. it makes it worse you mm -hmm. crash right and then you feel horrible the next day and then the next day i'd be like hey i feel fine yeah yeah exactly exactly well i'm gonna pop over and see if there are any if there are any hit miss kathy are there any questions any uh let's see um Oh, okay. We have a, we have a good question here. How do you trust yourself that you are satisfied with your food and, or and or meal? How do you trust yourself to know when you're satisfied? Because you made you are very clear. You eat to satisfied and not to. Yeah. And I mean, there's times when I I've eaten a little more because it's really good or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And I'll put that on the thing. Like normally, when you rate you know, on, on the daily planner, uh -huh. like I yep. try to be at a three or something, right. you know, sometimes I'm at a four, you mm -hmm. know, or mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I ate a little too much of that, but I don't know. I just take my time and it's weird because I feel like my body is letting me know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's hard to verbalize that, but I feel like if I stop and just take my time, or like you said, drink some water or something, you know, I don't, really cut my food in half anymore. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. really do that, but, um, I just feel like if I take my time, I kind of feel it in there. And then I like that feeling of just having the food, but not feeling yuck. Mm -hmm. You know, when I eat too much, I just have that full bloated feeling. Right. And I feel like my body is talking to me more about that. You know, it's like, now that I'm tuning into it, I'm like, oh yeah, I've had enough, you know? Yeah. 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 And that, and that is that just, and that, that, that is something that comes over time is mm -hmm. that, that, and, and, and that's where we, because of, you know, as, as emotional eaters, and especially if, if, uh, and, and I think, I think emotional eating and binge eating go ahead and kind of goes hand in hand. We've gotten so far away from even being in touch with our bodies that we don't even, that we haven't listened for so long that when you do start to listen, you're like, man, my body's pretty smart. Like it knows exactly, it really does know exactly how much it knows how much food you need it's just we have to slow down enough to listen and then just be able to be be able to stop and say yep okay that's enough I've had enough and when it is a little too much 
I'll be like, oh, I don't like that. And I'll make a note of it. Like, mm. yeah, it's a little too much, you know? So that was a learning experience. Yeah. And that's, and, and not, yeah. And not to beat yourself up about it, but just to recognize, yeah. this, oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a, that's definitely something that I, that I want to make note of and I want to remember that. And that's, and that's a great, that's, you know, it's a great thing about doing that, you know, the nightly assessment is it's like, okay, I can make that note and then remember it for the next day and remember it for the next, just for the next meal. Mm -hmm. We're going to work on that. That's going to be something we're going to work on. So, well, Sean, this is just, I am just, I'm so thrilled that I'm, I'm so thrilled and so grateful that you took the time to, uh, to come on and to share your story. Cause I think it is, it's, it's such a, it's, it's just such an example of somebody taking something and and doing it the way that it works for for you and um and I just I I could not be could not be happier and I just have to tell y'all when Sean popped on camera because I haven't seen her in a few months I was like girl what what <laughs> crazy she just look and she's blo she's glowing she's in Denver and and it's really warm there right now and so she just like she has this healthy glow to her um but I was just I'm I am so so happy for you and I'm so happy that that you have that you you found us and that you really have um embraced all this and it's just gonna it's just a part of now it's just it's it's become a part of who you are and a part of your lifestyle and uh and I just know that uh things will just continue out how, how much how what what how much do you have kind of a goal of how much more weight you'd like to lose or are you kind of in at maintenance or? Well, I, you know, I was just kind of, when I was younger, I weighed, you know, probably 10 pounds less, but you know, now that I'm older, I'm like, if I lose a couple more pounds, that's good. Or just stay, mm -hmm. I just want to see where my body kind of settles. That's comfortable, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. But I'm just really grateful to you, Kristen, because I feel like this has literally been life changing to me. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I'm grateful about it every day because I feel so much better. You know, yeah. I don't wake up feeling horrible. Um, I have clothes I can wear and feel good when I go out. And I just wish I had found it, you know, when I was younger. Now, I'm <laughs> And it's like, wow, but I'm just grateful that I found it now. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, and, and, and I think sometimes I think this type of, I think this type of program really is, is geared for people who have been through the gauntlet and been through all the diet, because when you're younger, it's, you, you still, you, you still think that all those things are going to work. And so it's like it, 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 with, with age comes wisdom. And we have that wisdom of like, okay, I've done that enough times. That's not working anymore. So now I need to be doing, I need to be doing these other things. And so, yeah, that is just, that is, is just, it's just wonderful. So thank you so much for, uh, again, for, for, uh, joining me today. And so if you are listening and you are incredibly curious about uh, the breakthrough membership and what Sean was talking about with, you know, the, and again, the cool part is, is, is Sean's a perfect example of there is tons and tons of support um, that, you know, you know, Zoom calls and all sorts of support that wasn't something that she needed. It wasn't something that was going to work for her. But the other aspects, so the, it, it's it's kind of a pick, you get to pick your own adventure. That's kind of what it is. It's kind of one of those books. It's like a pick your own adventure. You get to decide what's going to work for you and what's going to help you and then take that and move through it. And um, and and I just, I love hearing that the, um, that the coursework really on its own was something that was really, was really useful to you because I feel like that really is, that's kind of like the, you know, kind of the pillar of the program is we can talk a lot about this, but until you have things right in front of you that you can study and you can really then implement into your life. I think that's that piece it's, we can learn lots of things, but if we don't apply it to our lives and that's what the, that's what the modules do. That's what the, the coursework does is it forces you to kind of implement these things into your life. So um, and that's, and that's, you know, that's, that was always, that's always the idea. So if you are, if you are interested in learning more, I will drop the, uh, the information about the membership in the show notes. So you can absolutely um, check that out and you can always reach out to me. I'll have all of my contact information in the show notes as well. So again, thank you, Sean, so much for, uh, for joining me. And I am just so thrilled for your success and continued success. And um, y'all, we will see you all next week. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll talk to you all later. All right. Bye.